You are listening to the ultimate truth. Joseph feared God. One day his master's wife cast longing eyes on Joseph and she said, "Come to bed with me." But he refused and said to his master's wife, "Look, my master does not know what is with me in the house, and he has committed all that he has to my hand. There is no one greater in this house than I, nor has he kept back anything from me but you, because you are his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God?" Thus Joseph feared God and ran away from the temptation. However, Potiphar's wife made false accusation of Joseph to her husband. As a result, Joseph was thrown into the prison. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy, and he gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners who were in the prison. Whatever they did there, it was his doing. The keeper of the prison did not look into anything that was under Joseph's authority because the Lord was with him and whatever Joseph did the Lord made it prosper. Genesis chapter 39. The prisoner's dreams. God gave Joseph the gift of interpreting dreams. One day the butler and the baker of the king of Egypt offended the king. and pharaoh was angry with his two officers the chief butler and the chief baker so he put them in custody in the house of the captain of the guard in the prison the place where joseph was confined and the captain of the guard charged joseph with them and he served them so they were in custody for a while then both the butler and the baker had a dream and joseph came into them in the morning and looked at them and saw that they were sad so he asked pharaoh's officers who were with him in the custody of the lord's house saying why do you look so sad today and they said to him we each have had a dream and there is no interpreter of it so joseph said to them do not interpretations belong to god tell them to me please Then the chief butler told his dream to Joseph and said to him in my dream a vine was before me and the vine with three branches it was as though it budded its blossoms shot forth and its clusters brought forth ripe grapes then pharaoh's cup was in my hand and i took the grapes and pressed them into pharaoh's cup and placed cup in pharaoh's hand and joseph said to him this is the interpretation of it the three branches are three days now within three days pharaoh will lift up your head and restore you to your place and you will put pharaoh's cup in his hand according to the former manner when you were his butler but remember me when it is well with you and please show kindness towards me make mention of me to pharaoh and get me out of this prison for indeed i was stolen away from the land of the hebrews and also i have done nothing wrong that they should put me into the dungeon when the chief baker saw that the interpretation was good he said to joseph in my dream there was There were three white baskets on my head. In the uppermost basket were all kinds of baked goods for Pharaoh, and the birds ate them out of the basket on my head. So Joseph answered and said, "This is the interpretation of it. The three baskets are three days. Within three days, Pharaoh will lift off your head from you and hang you on a tree, and the birds will eat your flesh from you." Thus on the third day which was Pharaoh's birthday he made a feast for all his servants and he lifted up the head of the chief butler and the chief baker among his servants then he restored the chief butler to his butlership again and he placed the cup in Pharaoh's hand 
but they hanged the chief baker as Joseph had interpreted to them. Yet the chief butler did not remember Joseph, but forgot him. Genesis chapter 40